And this is the quit claim deed. And if you'll just sign all four copies. Oh, well, now, Baxter, don't take it so hard. I'm sure there are many businesses you could do quite well in. Have you thought of insurance? A lot. Look, uh, Mr. Ridgway, isn't there some way I could get an extension on... I feel as bad about this as you, Baxter. But look at it this way. You're not losing a lodge. You're providing a home for wayward boys. Boys hold my foot. Miss Whitten, I don't care if you do farm me. I can get a dollar an hour in Denver. That's twice what you pay me. He wants this place because there are 3,000 acres of Douglas fir that goes with it. There is. You're darn right. Jacob Farnsworth deeded it to the Ute Indians up in these hills. It was to be theirs as long as they occupied it. She's telling it right. They didn't have to prove up or nothing. Wasn't like when he gave the 200 acres for the town of Silver Hill. That was on condition the town fathers kicked in with a library, a church, and two hospitals. One for folks and one for dumb animals. Anyway, the Utes have all left or died off. So, the timberland automatically reverts to the Jacob Farnsworth estate. And that's you, Mr. Baxter. So that's why you wanted this place. You're going to cut down those woods back in town? Now, let's stick to facts. You cannot meet the payment, and it's due today. Dad? Yeah, not now, Richard. I know it's due today, but if I could just have a... There are no buts about it. If you refuse to sign the quit claim, you force me to start foreclosure proceedings tomorrow morning. But, Dad... Now, I told you once, Richard. Did you want to say something, young man? Well, I didn't see any library in town. How come Silver Hill don't revert back to you? Doesn't revert. Well, how come? Yeah, how come? I mean, why don't it revert back to me? It seems like the same law would apply. Oh, that's ridiculous. There's nothing ridiculous about it. If the deed restrictions have been violated, there's an automatic reversion to the grantor. Are his heirs? You may just own the whole town of Silver Hill, Mr. Baxter, including his bank. <laughs> well, now, Johnny, I see no reason why we can't work this out. <laughs> you know, a uh, ski lodge may be the best thing that ever happened to Silver Hill. Uh, what would you need to put this place back into shape? Repairs, new furniture. First class double chair lift. Ah, uh, <laughs> that's a good idea. Well, why don't we have lunch tomorrow and we can talk it over? Could I trouble you for a glass of water and an aspirin? Oh, sure, Mr. Ridgway. Come with me. I beg your pardon. <laughs> Do we own the whole town of Silver Hill, Dad? I don't think Mr. Ridgway wants to find out. Good work, son. <laughs> Mrs. Baxter, I think we've got ourselves a real ski lodge. How'd you like to ski down our mountain? I'd follow you anywhere, Mr. Baxter. Ski down our mountain?